Medical symptoms are the keystone for diagnosing many conditions. Today, we look at a practical, self-administered symptom test that can help to diagnose some of the most challenging and ambiguous chronic conditions, especially those resulting from various toxicities. A medical sign is an objective, observable phenomenon that can be identified by another person, such as uh, redness of the skin. Now, a symptom, on the other hand, is a subjective experience that cannot be identified by anyone else, such as pain. Put simply, a sign is objective and a symptom is subjective. Now, a doctor can usually diagnose a medical condition more easily if they have observable signs and a subjective description of the patient's symptoms. Medical symptoms are useful for detecting the acute complications of chronic disease. They're relatively specific, such as uh, chest pain radiating down the left arm, indicating an acute heart attack or a severe headache indicating a certain type of stroke. The problem with chronic diseases and especially toxin-related conditions is that the underlying symptoms are often nonspecific. Now, the Medical Symptom Questionnaire, or MSQ, which is based on the Institute for Functional Medicine Multiple Symptoms Questionnaire, this identifies symptoms which help to find the underlying causes of illness and help track symptoms on an ongoing basis. It's a very simple quiz to help identify problems in specific categories of health and help us determine where to focus our energy and efforts. The MSQ scores give information about the body systems involved in the disease and how badly they're affected. This helps the functional medicine physician to provide priority to critical systems when planning the healing process. The MSQ also evaluates the severity of individual symptoms. For example, a symptom is given a score ranging from one to four as follows. Uh, symptom one score is when it is mild and, and happens infrequently. A symptom two rating is when it, the symptom is slight but happens more frequently. A symptom three score is when it's severe but only happens occasionally. And finally, a, a symptom four score is when it's both severe and happens often. We rate each of the following symptoms based on uh, the health profile for the last 30 days. But if if we're taking the exam for the first time, we record symptoms for only the first 48 hours. Here are some of the sample questions. For example, for the head, we can look at headaches, faintness, dizziness, insomnia. For the skin, we can look at the presence of acne, hives, rashes, dry skin, hair loss, flushing, excessive sweating. For lungs, we can look at chest congestion, asthma, bronchitis. For the digestive tract, a number of symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, heartburn. For the eyes, we can look at watery or itchy eyes, swollen redness, blurred vision, and many other symptoms in many other symptom areas. How to grade the the questionnaire. Your, your medical symptoms questionnaire or MSQ score is an essential functional medicine tool to assess yourself initially and then to monitor your progress. The higher your symptom score, the more severe your medical condition and also indicates possible toxicity. A discussion of diagnosing the specific possible toxins and their management will be the subject of other video presentations. Now, a score of 20 or less is really not clinically significant. A score of 20 to about 49 indicates mild toxicity. A score of 50 to 99 
indicates a strong likelihood of moderate toxicity. And any scores 100 or above indicates a high likelihood of severe toxicity. The MSQ score gives a, also a reassuring visual uh, graph-like image while we monitor your progress. You can see your symptom score steadily coming down while you're undergoing hopefully a successful treatment. In subsequent videos, we'll explore how to diagnose particular toxins within the body, as well as strategies for treatment. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you next time. This is for general information and educational purposes only, and it's not intended to constitute or substitute for medical advice or counseling. The practice of medicine or the provision of healthcare or diagnosis or treatment or the creation of a physician-patient or a clinical relationship. The use of this information is at their own, uh, own user's risk. If you find this to be on the value, please hit that like button to subscribe to support the work that we do on this channel. And we take the, your suggestions and advice very seriously, so please let us know what you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.